what have we got to do today? I bought a bought a case of beers from Samuel Smith, and in with those bottles there was a, a free beer from Beer Ritz. I'll put the link in the description. And this is a beer from Cloudwater. You see a lot of Cloudwater reviews, but I don't think I've ever had a beer from them. So it's Cloudwater Brew Company. And this is the Ness Atalanta. It's a double IPA. So it's a slighter, smaller version of our popular triple IPA, Vanessa Atalanta. So this is just Ness. And it's a Motueka and Idaho 7 hops. So, inspired by Vanessa Atalanta, our much loved triple IPA from late 2020, this double IPA blends the juicy stone fruit and pungent pine provided by Idaho, Idaho 7 with Motueka's beautifully bright, zesty lemon and lime. I am looking forward to this one. Let's crack it open, see what it pours like. I don't know if this is going to be a hazy. Let's see. I can, I can smell that dankness from here. It's absolutely beautiful. That is a finger and a half of tightly packed mousse like foam. Absolutely beautiful. That is. Pure orange juice. There's not even any light coming through. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a long time since I've had a beer like this. Let's get a wee smell on it. This is so fruity. There's a sweetness there as well. I'm trying to think. This is like a zesty, zesty fruitiness. Anyway, let's get a wee taste. Cheers, my dears. That's beautiful. That just goes on and on. You know, I've not got the words to describe everything that's going on in there. Where did I even start? It's, it's fruity. There's so much it hits you at once. So it's that zesty, zesty citrus fruits. And there's a, a bitterness. It's up, it's up my gums. <laughs> it's like, there's a bitterness. No, no, it's no, it's not like a stringent bitterness, it's like a piney, zesty, pithy bitterness, like grapefruit, and, but there's more to it, it's not just citrus fruits, I don't know if it's a bitter, is it peach? Bit peachiness, maybe or apricot. <laughs> I'm not. I really. I'm really struggling to describe it. There was something it's, when I took the first sip. There was a flavour I got that I'm trying to get a handle on. That was very familiar, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't pin it down. That'll come to me eventually. But this is an absolute beauty. What a lovely beer. I don't drink enough IPAs and double IPAs and triple IPAs. Because I've been doing, let's say, different series of beers. Belgian beers, Trappist beers, Abbey beers. I've been doing my Scottish beers. I've been doing my traditional Samuel Smith beers. So, going back to something like this, I've quite, I've missed them. This may be... One of the best IPAs I've drunk, I think. 
Because there's just so much going on. That I've not got the I've not got the experience or the, the words to describe it all. I don't know if the camera is picking up those colours. That is there such a colour as lemony orange? It's like a a, a golden orange, is that a word? That's probably too bright that way. Temperature It's nine degrees. So that's probably probably just right for it. It's really nice. Let's have a wee look online. See if I can educate myself. Okay. Untapped is a waste of time basis at times. It's a uh, it's called Ness Atalanta from Cloudwater Brew Company in they're in Manchester, I think. Manchester, Greater Manchester, England. It's an IP Imperial Double. I think it might be a double New England, let's see. It's a, uh, yeah, an IPA Imperial Double New England Hazy. Yeah, so, uh, 8% ABV. The IBU is not listed. That's, that's an absolute sin. It's, I'll have a look on their website to see if I can find that. I'll put that in. One friend's check-in, 4.75. I think that's a good score, yeah. Everybody else... Uh, 1.7 thousand with an average of 4.22 that's high for top uh, on it's for Sam Sam drinks beer uh, the details inspired by Vanessa Atalanta are much love triple this double IPA blends with the juicy stone fruit and pungent pine provided by an Idaho 7 with Motueka's beautifully bright zesty lemon and lime. Descriptors are juicy citrus lime earthy grassy. Yeah, there's, there is uh, those earthy herbal plant-like the hops, hoppiness. To sum up all that, all the, is hoppiness. Zesty lemon and lime. But there's a sweetness behind it as well. It's not just. It's not just citrus fruits. I've just I've said I've said that already. But there is, I don't know if it's mango or peach or. It's something like that. They're saying zesty. I would say more it's pithy rather than zesty. Or there might be a bit of zestiness there. It's absolutely delicious. What does Sam say? An absolutely delicious double IPA. Lime, mango, earthiness, slight grassiness, orange, tea, dankness, and weirdly a slight chocolate-like flavour. Maybe that's the sweetness. Thick, juicy body, stunning beer. Yeah, that's a good description, Sam. So, how am I going to score this one? This is this is probably one of the, if not the best, IPA I've had. I'm going to give this a 9.5. It's absolutely outstanding. Would I recommend it? Yes. Would I try it again? Yes. Will I try again? Yes. Let me know if you've tried this one. It is an absolute cracker. Cheers, my dears, and thank you, Beer Ritz, for sending me this for free. Cheers, my dears. You get more each sip. Very nice.